Greetings, everybody. Welcome to my studio here in Ithaca, the North Star Art Gallery. I'm in the uh, midst of a uh, plein air workshop here, and this is my demonstration piece that I did uh, this morning for the students. We were originally going to do a plein air workshop, but it was raining out, so we uh, convened here in the studio, and uh, I worked from a photograph uh, of this location, and uh, here's another version of it right here. It's on Turkey Hill Road. This was my demonstration for a, a previous um, workshop. But uh, come back in here to the, to the painting. Uh, so um, I explained about uh, division of space. The, the first thing that I uh, uh, do is decide where the eye level is going to be. And uh, sometimes where the horizon is, it happens that the horizon is also coincident with the eye level in this painting, uh, the division between the sky and the land being this mountain back here. And then I talked about uh, whenever we have architecture, we have to know where the eye level is and the vanishing point. So all of these uh, perspective lines of the roof, uh, roofs of the barns are going towards a, a vanishing point over here someplace. And then I invented the bales and I talked about uh, uh, orchestrating uh, the uh, painting and the placement of the bales. And I have this kind of triangular system. So this is part of the creative part. Uh, I painted in this field when the bales are there, but I, I invented them. But the, the placement of the bales was the, the main thing here, two on the right, and this kind of a triangle that they formed. And then um, I also changed the, the time of day. The photograph that I was working, uh, the sun was up here. So I've made it more into a, a, a later time of day, a little more poetic. And then I started uh, blocking in uh, the values. I talked about that. The, the term is a Grisaille painting. It's a painting done just in terms of uh, light and dark. So we had the whole painting uh, uh, sort of established with a figure ground relationship of uh, massing in these darks. And, uh, and then uh, just progressing with, with the sky here. And I invented the, uh, the clouds too. So it's kind of a combination of uh, observation an invention, and uh, that's where the creative orchestration comes, while still being uh, faithful and uh, and adhering to what we're looking at. So it's a balance between uh, between uh, observation and uh, using our uh, creative uh, artistic licenses. So <clears throat> let's go around and look, check out these wonderful students that are doing uh, work here. This is a uh, Chape right here. Hello. <laughs> And she's working on a landscape uh, outside of Ith Ithaca. Mm -hmm. And um, let, uh, what do you have to say about your painting? <laughs> oh, oh, I uh, do this painting because I was attracted to the beautiful sky, the sunset, and um, in the snow feel. And so uh, I hope I can recreate this autumnus feel that I was uh, feel touched. And uh, she worked on a, a white canvas, which was different than mine. I worked on a toned canvas, but she toned her whole canvas this kind of a pinkish uh, color first with a very thin wash, and then went in with a with a wide brush to uh, that's how she got this wonderful softness to the sky that she's done here, and uh, it added a great beauty to the to the brush strokes. So now she's working on the area in, in the bottom where there's going to be a building there, and uh, and uh, it's some more uh, shrubbery. Okay, let's go back to Stephanie. She's right here to your right. Hi. Hi, Stephanie. So, so, yeah, so this is a painting in the Adirondacks, um, or a picture that I took. And it's a place where I grew up, so that's one of the reasons why I love it. <laughs> um, and what lake is it? This is Lake Pleasant. And so she's got it all nice, nicely, nicely drawn in here, and she's working just uh, in value, like I suggested, using this Grisai method of uh, painting, where you just do the uh, the darks and lights, and it had a midtone, this bluish midtone on the whole uh, uh, board. It's a masonite board, so uh, it's got a, a wonderful start. It's a couple of um, a canoe and a uh, waterboard. Is that what it was? Paddleboard. Yeah. Paddleboard. Okay. These shapes here. This is a paddleboard and... Okay, lovely work. Great start, it's gonna be a wonderful painting. Thank you. And now we're over here to Elizabeth Lloyd from uh, Dallas, PA. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and she's uh, doing a painting of her uh, farm uh, outside of Dallas near the, uh, what's the reservoir? Huntsville Reservoir in Dallas, Pennsylvania. 
and I haven't painted oils in but about 45 years. So I'm just starting to get back into it. And um, Brian's been so helpful with helping me get reoriented with um, the whole process. Very helpful, very, very helpful, very positive. Um, um, now I got to figure out how to make gray. <laughs> Thank you very okay, much. I'll help you with that. She's got a great start there. Wonderful composition. We talked about uh, the distribution of shapes, just like on mine, and uh, um, trying to avoid the even divisions. Uh, and this horse was wonderfully drawn. She just did it from memory. I, I think maybe she had some small photographs, but it's a wonderfully uh, articulated uh, silhouette of the horse here. And hers is also on on white canvas. So I think everybody except Stephanie is working on white canvas. So. Thank you, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Great job. Oh, thanks. Let's come over here. Last but not least, Michael Hopcroft, a former Ithacan, but now a resident of Seattle, Washington. Hi. So um, tell us about your painting, Michael. So this is actually, uh, it's from a photograph of a river on a logging road in uh, Washington, and it's from a camping trip during December. It was very cold, and um, but very serene. Um, one of the things I like about the scene is that there's snow in the scene and so I can use, I could put white lines for snow basically anywhere I want because who was there to know where the snow actually was. So it allows me to increase the contrast and still keep the moodiness. Okay, great. Thank you, Michael. Thanks. All right, so uh, this is their plein air workshop of working inside today, but uh, inspired by outdoor nature. Maybe when I do a class in the spring, we'll uh, get good weather and, uh, and actually be outside. So uh, thank you so much for your attention. <laughs>